What's up guys? Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com. Alright, so remember the Lunar New Year sales are going on in the Unity Asset Store right now. And in today's video, we're going to check out one of the assets that's contained inside of the bundles. Remember that these bundles contain a number of different assets for Unity um, that can allow you to do anything from creating effects to um, having different prefab packs or asset packs to scripts that actually do other things inside of Unity. So I made a video talking about those in depth, which I will link to in the notes down below. So if you are interested in picking this up, that's where you can find this. I will link to that in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, we are checking out the Met Constructor, which you can find in the first tier of the Roaring Mega Bundle. So you can get this inside of the 1999 tier um, right here, or you can get everything that's shown on this page by going to the 39.99 tier right here. So either way, you can get this particular asset and bring it into Unity. And so this is basically a prefab pack um, that's created in kind of a modular way so you can quickly create spiders and tanks. So this is like a mech construction asset is basically what it is. And what it does is it comes with a collection of different parts and pieces um, that you can put together in order to create your own um, spiders and tanks inside of Unity. So it's got all the different parts like the heads and the bodies and other things like that. And they're set up in a way that's really easy so that you can quickly create your own custom tanks. And so if you are looking for additional prefab packs, um, the author does have other prefab packs in here as well. So different mech packs and also a sci-fi vehicle creator that are also kind of modular. So if you are looking for more tools like this, um, you can go to the author's page and you can take a look at all of those. But basically the way this works is you want to find the mech constructor spiders and tanks inside of your package manager. You want to click on the download button and then you want to import this once it's downloaded. And so when you import this, what it's going to do is it's going to import a folder labeled mech constructor underscore spiders. And so you can look at this and you can see how this is broken out into a number of different folders. You want to start with this readme file right here. So if you open up the readme file and you can actually open it up as a full on text file right here. Um, but basically it gives you instructions for putting all the parts and pieces together. And the whole point of this is that it's modular, meaning that you're supposed to be able to drop everything in and, and it's just going to snap in place. And so it gives you instructions like starting with the legs. And so what you want to do is you want to go into the, um, you can probably create your own scene or you can open up this demo scene right here. When you open the demo scene up, that's going to give you a demo of what this can do, right? And note that this contains materials. Um, note that it contains the different prefabs and note that if you click play, you can see that it also contains animations. So you can drop the animation scripts on top of these as well. So you can see how there's animations for like the gun shooting and things moving around, other things like that. So I think there's some like unfolding of guns and turrets that's included in there as well. All right, and so the way this works is you wanna start by going to the prefabs folder and you wanna start with adding the legs. So whether you want the tracked legs or the spider legs, you just want to drag one of the leg prefabs into your scene. So we'll just drag this first one in right here. Well then, if we take a look at this, notice how what it does is if we start digging into the hierarchy of this object under root, you can see how there's options in here for other things in other places. And so in general, what you want to do next is you want to add to the top, right? Because what you want to do is you want to add a cockpit to this mech. And so there's a number of different cockpit options that you can use in here, but you can just drag that and you want to drag that directly on the top section right here. So notice what that does is that quickly adds the cockpit in here. And then if you expand this a little bit more, notice how there's options in here for like a left and right and top weapon. So you can take these weapons. So let's say I wanted like one of these bigger guns. You can drag it onto the various weapon mounts. So you can see I can drag this on the top. We can drag weapons on the left and the right like this. And then there's also backpack mounts as well. And all you have to do is look for the word backpack. So when I drag this in, notice how that mount is going to sit on top of this mech right here. And so it's really easy to build a modular mech in this way. So if we want to create a different kind of mech, we could just move this over. And this time we could use maybe the tracks and just do the same thing, right? You've got the tracks. Then from there, you would build the cockpit. And you can actually add a riser to that and then add a cockpit on top of that if you wanted to do that. But again, then you would just do the same thing, right? You would use the modular weapons that come in here. It's super easy to create these mechs. And one of the cool things about these mechs is they actually come with animations kind of built on top of them. 
And so if you were to go into the legs spider and you double click on the controller, um, you can actually preview those animations just by clicking on the play button right here. And you can right click on any of these and make them the default state right here. And then you can just kind of preview what they do, right? So the walk one is interesting because it's actually going to walk forward in whatever direction it's facing. So you can also set the walk back like this. You can kind of see that in the window right here. So you can preview those really quickly using the animator, but notice how there's a number of different animations in here that are already built in. And so those are actually pretty easy to work with overall. Um, you just kind of have to set them up with some controls, but overall um, it seems to be a pretty easy setup. And then finally note there are a couple buggies in the buggies folder as well. So you can bring the buggy chassis in. And so you'd probably bring in just one of the typical cockpits from over here. And again, that's really easy to do. You just go find one of the cockpits, drop it on the cockpit right here. And then everything's gonna be pretty much the same from there. So weapons, everything else. So overall, this is a really fun asset pack. It's so modular, you don't have to mess around with where everything is. You just drop the parts and pieces in and you're ready to go. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this, what other videos you'd like to see about assets inside of the Lunar New Year sale. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.